Okay, can you hear me? We have a packed room today. <laughs> I want first off thank you guys for coming. Um, this session is on the Mid America um, Online Coaches Certification, and we're going to be covering uh, several different topics. We have an hour slotted. I don't know necessarily that we're going to need the full hour. Um, I want to make sure that we cover any and all questions that there might we might have. Anything that I can't answer, um, we will definitely take away and get answers back. Okay. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. The agenda for today is we're going to talk about the certification website itself, uh, the registration overview. We're going to briefly go over uh, the understanding of the courses. And then, of course, why do we certify? Okay, and this is also not just from a coach's standpoint, but the recommendation for administrators who are not on a roster and required to be certified. So, certification website. You can see, I mean, this is our homepage of our current website. The web address is popwarnerregiontraining.com. It is not listed as Mid America Pop Warner Training. It is popwarnerregiontraining.com because we do share this website with the Southeast region, which I'm going to point out to you is information uh, a little bit later that's very, very important to know. Functionality requirements of this software, or of this website, I should say. Laptops and PCs, it is not Apple friendly. I know that's a problem. Um, so it excludes all Apple products, but that is how the functionality of this currently works. Your browsers are Microsoft Edge, Chrome and Firefox. If you're trying to use Internet Explorer, which is no longer supported by Microsoft, don't use it. Okay, you need to upgrade to the Microsoft Edge. If you're trying to use it on your phone through like a standard, um, like a Safari or uh, some type of standard internet app on your phone, it's not going to work correctly. It's not going to function correctly. These are the three browsers that are strongly recommended where this website works the best. When it comes to tablets, again, not Apple supported. You can do any type of Android-based tablet, and you'll ha you should have no issues whatsoever. This is not a mobile-ready app. Okay, in when you register and you go to your profile, it does give you a QR code. You'll see that under your profile. You can't use it. You can, it'll let you, but it does not function correctly. So if you have any concerns or you've heard um, people talk about being charged twice for a course or a promo code, that's kind of the reason. This is not mobile ready, so don't use this. So as you're talking to your coaches uh, regarding their certification requirements and stuff like that, you need to bring this to their attention because they're going to look at it and go, oh, I can do this on my phone. I got an app. That's not the case. Oy. Okay, any questions on that real quick? Okay, again, back to your home page. When you register as a coach and you come to the, the screen for the first time, it asks you, is this your first time here? And if the answer is yes, this is where you register. And the registration process is very, very simple, but very, very important to make sure that we're doing it correctly, not only for the user's sake, but also for our reporting sake. As administrators, whether it's an association, league, or even for the region, when it comes to reporting the accuracy of our coaches who are certified, we've got to have the correct information supporting that coach. Meaning, what region do they belong to? What league do they belong to? What association to, do they belong to? Because if, they're, if it's not, then we have to go search the system to find out where they are. 
this is your registration page. All of your areas that have the red exclamation point are required fields. So it's going to make you fill that field out before you can go on. But you do have some drop down areas, which you can see like on the select state is a drop down country, well that stays. Um, but your region, league, and association, which we're gonna get to, those are drop down. We can't just select whatever. We wanna make sure that it's right, okay? That top section is your username. When you create your username, and this is so important for when you come back to either reprint your cert certificate because you can't find the email that you got when you certified, if you've forgotten your uh, password, you have to have your username. Once you create that username, write it down. Write it down. Same thing with your password. Your password is a requirement of eight characters. Okay, you got one digit, one lowercase, one uppercase, and one alpha numeric character in your password. Once you've identified that, write it down. You're gonna see a theme here pretty quick, okay? Write it down. Your next two sections is your email address and then the confirmation of your email address. This is so important because on the other options that I just talked about, and I'm gonna show you here in, in a little bit, when you request, I can't remember my password, I can't remember my username, whatever it is, it's going to send it to the email that you tied to this account. So it's so important to remember this information. And even if it's not a email that you use anymore, unless you've deactivated that email or anything to that effect, it still will be able to send it, right? Write it down. In today's day and age, we have so many different apps, so many different ways of doing things online that requires username and passwords um, and relevant information. A lot of us, I know me, I have to write them all down because I don't remember them. And because this is not an app which will keep you logged in all the time, put this information wherever you store other username and password information. It will be very, very beneficial for you in the future. Okay, this is where we really need the information to be accurate. Under the organiz organization affiliation, what is the region you belong to? When you hit this drop down, you're gonna have two options. Mid-America region and Southeast region. They need to know that they belong to the Mid-America region. On the select league, the league is the governing body over the associations, right? So for um, the Chicagoland, Illinois area, you know, it's Chicagoland. For the Northwest Indiana area, it's Northern Indiana Pop Warner. In Missouri, it's not Missouri Park, uh, Pop Warner, it's Heart of America. They need to know this so that they're selecting the correct information tied to their account. The other one is also their association. And a lot of, a lot of our coaches don't even know that we refer to the local programs as associations. So them having this information going into their registration process is gonna make it so much easier for them. I started, what feels like 100 years ago, you know, at the association level, I started as a coach. When I first became the cheer director for my program, um, I went to our first competition meeting and I had to fill out a form. That form required the region information, the league information, and the association information. I had no clue what region we belonged to. I had no clue what, who a league was or what a league was. You know, so it's really important that we get that information out to our coaches um, right out of the bat. So that it's just information that they have and it's knowledge that they obtain. Once they're done with their registration, all they do is click the understand and I agree. If they want to read the policy agreement, right above that is a hyperlink for them to go and read the, read the um, online agreement. 
Otherwise, they can just click, click on Create New Account. Once they do that, they're going to get a notification like this. And right there, it also tells you you should have, or an email should have been sent to your address, which is the one that you just created under your account, and you need to go and activate your account through this email. This is a step that is very often, believe it or not, not done by coaches. They either bypass this, didn't understand it, really didn't read it, and just clicked continue, right? But because we're going to drill into them that you have to write it down, okay? We want to make sure that we're telling them that this is how this is going to work. It's going to tell you where they sent you, they sent you the confirmation email for your account, okay? Okay, uh, Ida, and for anybody that doesn't know, this is Ida, okay? She is my partner in crime. We both tag team this website together uh, and help troubleshoot and, you know, resolve issues for any coaches um, that may have issues or trying to obtain anything on this website. Here's the email example that our coaches will receive. They'll go back to that email, find this email address, and right there is the hyperlink to confirm your new account, go to this web address. You just click on that, it redirects you back to the website, and that's what it says to you. Okay, so once you hit continue, it takes you to the login page. This is where you log in your new username and your password that you wrote down, right? Really good thing to do is remember my username. Click the remember my username. So even if you come back in six months or a year and you come back to this off of the same computer, the likelihood of your username being retained there is great. Okay? But also when you sign in for the first time, most web browsers, if you're comfortable with this, most web browsers will ask you if you want us to retain this username and password. If you're comfortable with it, I would suggest you say yes. Oh, forgot your username and password. We talked about this earlier. This is why we want to write down everything. As soon as you click this, these are your options. You either enter your username, if you can't remember it, you have to enter in your email address. That's why both are so important to write down and retain. Because it's just going to send it to the email address tied to this account. If you put in an email address, and this is where some confusion comes to, which is good to know from an administration standpoint, if they put in an email address that they think is the one that they used, it's going to send them an email, but it's going to tell them that this email address is not associated to an account within our system. Okay, so it's really important that they are inputting the correct information. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> okay, any questions on that registration part? Everybody good with that? Okay. So, you've signed in. This is what it looks like. This is referred to as your dashboard. Really, really, really important to know that you're seeing both the Southeast courses selection and you are seeing the Mid-America. You can see that the Southeast provides multiple different courses and Mid-America is gearing solely on football and the cheer. We're in the middle. Do not select a Southeast course. <laughs> Do your best to not click a Southeast or pay for a Southeast or complete a Southeast course, okay? We won't accept the course as it being certified for Mid-America. We will help you in resolving that so that you can take the Mid-America course and complete that course. But if you have a coach come back and say, I took the Southeast football course, that should be good enough. It's not. That's for Southeast. This is Mid-America and our courses are for Mid-America. 
Okay, so they would have to take the Mid-America anyways. So make sure you point it out to your coaches and explain to them Mid-America is in the middle of your dashboard. It has the identifiers that say Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Missouri, Ohio, and Wisconsin coaches only. If you look at the top for Southeast region, it's Florida and Georgia coaches only. Okay, you'd be just dumbfounded how many times we've got coaches that are still doing Southeast certification and vice versa for that matter. It's not just Mid-America, okay? Any questions on the dashboard? Okay, from the dashboard also, if you look over to the right, um, you can see my certification and it gives you your username and what your address is. You can click on your profile from there um, and I think I have a screenshot of the profile in this presentation, I'm not sure. Um, but from your profile, you can also access your, if you've passed the certification, you can also access, um, that's where you access your certificate. The system, once you pass the, the, the course itself, will email the user a copy of their certificate. But if they need to obtain another one, they can either go back to that email that has the certificate attached, or they can go to my profile and it'll say my certificate and they can also access it that way. These are your courses, okay? These are the courses that are offered. The ones that have the parentheses of cheer, those are the courses that are in the cheer certification. The rest of the courses are for football. We only have four courses for cheer because a lot of the team management and Pop Warner regulations are in the Waikata training. So we're not gonna make you do both, okay? But for football, they have to take all of these. Inside each course are chapters. So in the introduction, you've got the Pop Warner overview, Pop Warner advantage, importance of background checks, Pop Warner structure, and at the end of each course is a quiz and everything has to be marked off to be considered done or completed. This is what your course looks like. Once you've gone in and paid for your course and you're ready to take it, this is how it shows up. Okay, if you notice to the right, you've got these boxes. Those boxes without a check mark means that they're incomplete. If you look on the bottom under introduction, you can see very clearly that we've got check marks, those courses are done. But the quiz does not have a check mark. I can tell you that just from experience over these last couple of years of having this new certification, that is the biggest miss you know, that coaches see. I've taken all my courses, why can't I get this? I've taken all my courses, why can't I do that? You're missing a quiz. Okay, make sure that that quiz has that check mark. Okay, any questions on that? Okay. Am I missing anything on that? Okay. So let's talk about promos. When it comes to promos, there's a couple things. I know this says promos for administrators, but I have two points that I want to bring up on this. For some reason this year, we've seen it more often this year than in the past couple, coaches are going in and purchasing one single promo and then using that promo to go and register for their course, okay? That's not necessary. They don't have to do that. They're not doing anything wrong, but they don't have to do that. So what I mean by this is I'm just gonna go back for a real quick second. So here, if you notice, right, on the Mid-America courses under status, it says pay now. As a coach, if I'm gonna pay for my own certification, all I have to do is click pay now and it'll take me to the payment screen. But you want to make sure that you are selecting the right one. We have football coaches that have clicked on spirit and we have spirit that have clicked on football, right? And that's gonna cause a problem, which we have to rectify. But 
for whatever reason, these coaches, a lot of these coaches, not just in Mid-America, but also I've seen it in Southeast, to where they're going down and selecting purchase promo code. And they're buying a promo code for the course that they need to take. And then they use that promo code to go back up and start the pay now process. You don't have to do it that way. So as you're talking to your coaches, you can point it out to them and just let them know, look for Mid-America, look for your course, over to the right, click on pay now, okay? Okay. One thing that we started last year, and I think that it has, uh, was very beneficial, is promos for administrators. A lot of administrators, and when I say administrators, I'm talking about board members of an association or even a league, okay? A lot of them are not coaches. They don't have to be rostered, okay, or they are not rostered on a particular team's um, which would not require them to become certified in anything, whether it's Waikata, USA, Mid-America, doesn't matter, right? But you're gonna get asked questions. So why not have the knowledge or at least the understanding of what's expected on this or what information is given to these coaches on this um, and take the test? So what we started doing last year was is providing a promo code for those administrators. And this is at the league level. If the association, if there is an association that wants to do this for some of their board members, you know, just to expand their knowledge, like I said, the president of the association can also reach out to myself or Ida, okay? But we're offering up the ability to give you guys promos so those administrators can have that knowledge. And why do you want that knowledge? You want to understand the registration process to be able to provide assistance, pretty much a lot of what we just covered. Having that knowledge of what these coaches are taking and being certified in is huge, right? Um, and it allows you guys to have that conversation if something comes up to remind them, if you remember, this was in your certification. You can be able to speak to it when you're dealing with associations and or coaches. And what's really big for us is provide us the feedback of your experience in taking this course. If we don't get that feedback, we can't make improvements. If we don't get that feedback, if something's wrong and there's a functionality issue, we're not in there every day. And we're not, we're not dealing with it like a user would or a coach would, okay? Giving us that feedback, good, bad, or indifferent, will do nothing but help improve the site itself and the overall experience of our coaches who are required to take it. This is not something that we're mandating by any sense of imagination. But this promo code, it's free. I create it, I give it to you, you're able to go to the website, register and take the course. But again, I do specify that this is for league administrators and association administrators who are not going to be rostered on, um, or listed as a coach on any roster within the program. And how can you obtain this? As I mentioned, you email me, okay? Um, this can be for football and cheer, or just football, or just cheer. Either one, I'm fine with. When you do email me though, however, put in the subject line, uh, promo code request, okay? Give me your name, give me your association, or and or league, and what your current role is in that program. So if you are a concessions director, or you are a, um, a certification director, and you do not coach, just provide me that information. Any questions on this? Okay. Let's just talk about overall support when it comes to this site. 
when you are in the site as a user and you're having struggles, you can't get your course to load, um, you've taken a quiz on a particular uh, course five times and you've passed it, but the system is not showing you as ha having it completed. Your immediate link to us for support is right there on your dashboard under your My Certification icon at the very bottom and you click support. That is going to take you into your primary email and create an email to support at southeastpopwarner.org. Okay? Or if you are at the front of the website and you can't get in, you've registered, you've done everything that you were supposed to, you got your email confirmation, you got the little notice that says your account's been confirmed, but you can't get in, then email us directly at support at southeastpopwarner.org. Unfortunately, there's not a support option on the face of our website, the front face of our website, which is why I'm giving you that su direct support email address. The other option that you have is through our MidAmerica website, where you can email, and this information is located at the very bottom of our front page under the contact us, and you can email uh, Jay Brooks, which is Jane Brooks, at midamerica.com. Those emails are, are received by Jane, and anything related to our MidAmerica certification site is forwarded to both myself and to Ida. So we will get it at some point. And boom, that's it. I told you this wouldn't take a whole hour. <laughs> Are there any other questions that uh, we may have? Or do you have anything that you want to bring up? Concerns? Stuff that you've faced over the last couple of years while dealing with our website? Okay, I'm going to walk to you because I can't hear you. That's okay. What was it? Okay, so it doesn't fully support it, okay? There are... Oh, uh, thank you, Larry. <laughs> so what she said was is that last year she was able to complete her certification on her Apple iPad. Now, we've seen it. And it has happened, but the majority of the time, the functionality is not what you're seeing on the iPad or any other Apple product. The functionality is not the same as, you know, if it was done on a non-Apple product, right? You may have um, the videos and the audios maybe choppy or something to that effect. Um, you may have been able to do it, but it's not always functional and sometimes it causes our problems on our end because it'll duplicate your course, it'll charge you twice, it'll, you know, and that's our biggest concern. You know, we don't want our coaches and stuff having to pay twice. She said that she had success on the Apple iPad last year. what update you were on on the iPad would help us because I tried to do it on my husband's latest like iPhone and we had no success I tried to do it on multiple iPads last year so we did test multiple iPads and it was not working and that's why I'm asking these questions because it's good to know so that when people ask us we can say if you have this version and this we have seen some success with it um, because at sometimes it stops playing the video like she said it gets choppy if you're trying to make a transaction purchase and you are not patient with it like once you click and you are clicking again that's where you're getting double charged because people aren't patient with letting it do its course and they get a little nervous well I'm clicking it's not doing anything and that's where you get that double payment so we're trying to tell people we know that it's not fully functional on this so if you don't have the patience please don't use that because those are the errors that we're finding. Okay. 
Do you have it with you? Okay. If you want to come see me, um, go get it and come see me. I can set you up with a promo code and we'll get you on that just for that purpose. Okay? Right. Not everybody has not everybody has a computer. So we're trying to look at different ways that people can complete this. And so, you know, that information is very helpful to us, so I appreciate that. And if you can have Bridget and you guys test it out, I'd, you know, that'd be great. That's right. Yep. Yep. Any other questions? Comments? Okay. That concludes our presentation. Appreciate you guys coming. Do not judge me. Oh my God. Do not judge me.